Hi everybody, all my followers be welcome to another video. Right, some of you might recognize this car, uh, 2007 Nissan Qashqai 1.5 TCI. Last time I worked on this car was last September. Uh, did that uh, job, I'll leave a link in the description below in case if you are guys interested on it. So he's back for something completely different this time, well, he's back for two issues, uh, we'll tackle these on separate uh, videos. Um, I will show you what the first, uh, sorry, I'll show you the issues, I'll show you the issue that we're gonna... Blah, blah, blah. Right, it's not starting very good. Right, the car came for two separate issues. On this video, I'm gonna tackle the exterior issue, which will make sense as soon as I show you. But I will show you what the other problem is, that will make into a separate video. Let me start this up so I can show you. So, one of the issues is that, ABS light is on. And the other issue is on the outside. So, it was spotted when I believe he had the tires changed. That looks like one of the CV joints is ripped and is obviously losing grease everywhere. So, that's what we're going to try to do. I'm not sure which side is. I think he said is that side. Passes aside. Uh, more of a mechanical uh, work this time, um, so we'll see how we're gonna get this done uh, to replace that CV joint. So, if this is something you'd like to see, just stick to it, and that's gonna do it. And it's definitely, is definitely gone. No questions asked. Is completely destroyed. Okay, so uh, oh yeah, it's proper. It's proper gone. Um, I think the way I'm gonna do this, how I'm gonna do this. Oh dear, I'm gonna lose oil if I. Uh, I think I'll have no option really. It's gonna have to be done like that. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, take the wall drive shaft uh, which I think is the only option anyway so I'm not gonna take it through everything um, I should be able by just uh, perhaps taking this joint down here and then take sorry guys just going to wrap it so yeah um, I think I'm gonna take this joint here and this the track rod end and I should be able to just swing this obviously take this nut and just swing the wall have assemble uh, out of the way and then we'll take the drive shaft at the back and yeah I think it's gonna leak some oil we might have to refill at the end uh, it's gonna leak as soon as I take the drive shaft off I guess uh, but it is what it is I'll put something underneath catching it and that's it so let's gonna take this off
your drive shaft is out it's not leaking too much I'm gonna put something a paper or something just to stop it but look what we found as well we're gonna fix that obviously but now it's just obviously dismantle this and change the boot okay, and in the meantime the shaft is out of the hub um, so okay let me see how this comes off uh, to get it replaced I guess okay now if I so as expected this grease is in quite poor state so greenish now if I had I've cut this boot off now if I had one of those boot stretchers that would be a different story but uh, I don't have one so which means I'm gonna have to dismantle this oh this thing here in order to get the new one in I guess I'm not sure how this comes off isn't quite there's no play it was still greased so there is no play here or anything like that so it looks like we're gonna be able to somehow just try to pull this out I should come out in there with a, a quick tap I guess <sighs> That's how they usually come off. Yeah, I guess it is that. Yeah, yeah. A quick tap here in the middle and the shaft should slide out just as it did slide out on the gearbox side. Okay, and this one actually comes out in a slightly different way. Um, so what you do first is you take this circlip from the inside of this hub then obviously the wall shaft comes out along with this everything just comes off then right at the end you have a circlip that you remove and that slides out and now we're going to clean everything get rid of the old grease uh, clean everything and slide in the new boot and put everything back on the only issue is <laughs> i just went this morning dropped the girls at school and i picked up a new uh, CV, jo uh, cv joint boot but the guy told me it was the outside Apparently, uh, I don't know, maybe it was mistaken and obviously it's actually the inner one. So I'm gonna have to go back and swap it over uh, But yeah, but other than that straightforward. Okay, and I just got the new boot here And uh, there you go New one and the grease etc etc and uh, I've cleaned everything already so as you can see everything's cleaned so the assembly is just the reverse so we're going to put this back in the circlip then we put everything in the housing and put this spring thingy uh, grease everything up and obviously put the the retainers in place etc etc and that will be done while I was there I've asked if they do have any they actually have a pre-made uh, hearth cables so I just thought you know rather than repair the one in there um, I got two of those this uh, tiny ones and I got a longer one um, just for spares I only need one obviously but I just thought for four quid each or something like that it doesn't really worth the hassle for me to be making a new one up um, but as for these guys let's gonna assemble every, everything back on and that's it nearly there okay and the shaft is all done all back in place all tightened up everything done we just use one of these and you tidy up so all this is done but before we put this back on I had to remove the wheel liner to get access to the cable now I'm not gonna do it the way this is come from factory but from factory the earth comes from there goes into the chassis and then it's just one cable up to there so I'm not gonna do it I already took off the clip in there, which is here. I'm gonna still use it. I'll show you in a minute But for now what I'm gonna do is I cut this here and I'm just gonna put a new one glad I got two lengths because this is actually Just about the right length if you see So we're gonna do I'll show you uh, the result There it is all done. So the cable comes through there and that clip goes there also replaced the rusty bolt and all done. Now let's kind of 
start to put everything back on and uh, yeah um, the oil I've lost is pretty much down to nothing so I'm not really worried and uh, I also check the seal before I went upstairs to well, upstairs before I went up there to replace to uh, swap the boot just in case if I need a new seal but the seal is absolutely perfect nothing wrong with it so gonna give a little bit of a clean around here all this grease and just put everything back on okay and everything is back in place everything is tightened everything is fine so I've cleaned there as I said so there's no leaks everything is spot on everything everything every 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 single bolt has been checked and everything is fine um, the only thing left now is the liner and the wheel and the undercover but before we do that I'm gonna fall I'm gonna carry on into the next video uh, just in case if I need to work here on the ABS uh, even though it's easy enough to get to that leg with the liner in place but uh, but yeah that, that's it the car will have to go for an alignment as well uh, which I will do that uh, this afternoon if everything goes okay uh, but for this video guys um, that's it the main job is done and I really hope that there's some information here you can find useful hope you learned something hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions any comments please put them below and like always thanks for watching